After splitting in Chi-Town, the Hawks and Bulls series shifted to A-Town on Friday. The Hawks hosting their first second round game since 1997 when they were also tied 1-1 coincidentally with the Bulls, who uh, still had the best player in basketball even back then. Except his name was uh, Michael Jordan. You may have heard of him. Jeff T. coming off a solid effort in game two. Pretty good night tonight. 11 points in the first quarter, 21 for the game. Problem is he had to check Derrick Rose. D. Rose got off to a good start. He kept it going. There's Teague for the slam. He was five of six shooting in the first quarter. Rose, though, just crosses Teague up. Ooh-wee. Through the paint, throws it down. Rose tied his career playoff record with 17 points in a quarter to start this game. Kyle Corbett chipping in. He knocks down the three. It's a 40-29 game, and the Bulls are just clowning. The fake behind the back from Watson, Gibson, then puts it up and in. The Bulls bench outscored the Hawks bench 21-6 in the first half. Luau, dang, dang. Three-pointer from the wing. This thing circus ugly. Derrick Rose, though, maybe a little over-anxious trying to get the steal here. Pays for it. Injures his hand going for the steal. He'll be all right, though. Got that finger fixed right up. You know, there's a number of celebrities in the crowd. That was Emmanuel Lewis from, you know, TV's Webster, of course. Jerome the Bus Bettis. Stay out of his way. And Scotty Pippen. Bulls great. Back to the stuff that really counts. That's D. Rose. Finger looking good. Knocks down the three. Then he gets past Teague. He's the MVP for a reason, folks, uh, in case you didn't know. Beautiful feed from Joe Kim Noah. Rose lays that one in. 69-53 at that point, later in the game. The Hawks uh, showing a little something. Josh Smith goes to the rack. 17 points, 13 rebounds for him. It's still a 17-point game, though, and D. Rose is still on the floor. That's bad news for the opponents. 34 points through three quarters for D. Rose. Misses here, but he's got some buddies. Taj Gibson underneath. The board and the bucket. Noah and Gibson combined for 15 offensive rebounds in the game. 13-point lead for the Bulls. Al Horford gets the jam. Just trying to make this thing respectable at this point. Only problem is D-Rose doesn't have much respect for that notion. Four of seven from long range, just dropping folks off. Uh, that would include you, Mr. Jamal Crawford. Rose, not just a playoff, but a career high. 44 points in this one as the Bulls reclaim home court advantage with a 2-1 series edge. Game four back at Phillips on Sunday.